Hey everybody, Brad C. here. Just thought I'd do a quick review of this mini pool table that I got on Amazon. Now I'll put a link in the description and I'll go over the features and link in the description to an unboxing video of this as well as installation, which it's very, very simple. So let's just take a look at what it comes with and I'll just kind of give the pros and cons of this table. First of all, if you're looking for something really serious to play pool on, this is not it. This is more of a, uh, you know, for, for little kids and for just kind of tinkering around on. Uh, I do believe that it does actually increase your hand-eye, ball-eye coordination because the balls are actually smaller and it's a little harder to hit and a little harder to hit, you know, the other ball. So here is the difference in a regular pool ball and one of these little miniature ones. And they, they are quality as far as the balls go, though. So that they're definitely just miniature little pool balls. Same with those. Now, the pool sticks are junk. Uh, I, I got some, they came with, didn't even have tips on them, but I put tips on them, but they're just junk. I mean, they're absolute paperweight, and you are not going to have any fun on this table. So immediately, you want to get you a full-size stick, as you see over there, and use that on the table, because these sticks are junk. Now, they're, they're cute, and they go along with the table, but they just don't work. This brush works really nice. You know, cleans off any little debris that might come on the table. That's, um, yeah. It's kind of cheap, but it works. Gets the job done. This chalk is legitimate chalk. This is just regular standard chalk you'd see on a regular size table. Now the weak point of this whole table are these pockets. These are just stapled to the bottom here. So be careful. And what I would do is always, when you finish playing a round of pool and you've got balls in the holes, go around. And I don't reach in the hole. That's something I would not suggest. I always reach underneath. I pop it out and I put it on the table. I don't walk away from a table and leave balls in here because it's going to stretch it and it's going to cause the threads to eventually break and give. And then you're going to have to figure out how to, to fix that, which, you know, I'm sure you could just restaple them on there, but you don't want to fool with that. Now, another downside to this is it says foldable. And I'll put a link in the description to one that actually is foldable, but it costs a little bit more money. Now, it is foldable, but you see here you've got a wing nut. You have to remove that on all four corners to get it to fold up. So, you have to flip this over, take off all four wing nuts, and fold it up, and then you can store it. So, it's not as easy as just flip over and fold down the legs. Now, the felt on this, it feels quality, and uh, the table, obviously, I would not advise putting any amount of weight on this, and you don't want to let even little kids be on top of this, because this will definitely be destroyed if you if you let that happen. But, you know, as, as if you take care of this, I see this thing lasting for a while, actually. Uh, again, be careful of the corners. That's going to be the weak areas. Now, at the bottom of each leg is a little leveling tool, but I will say this table was completely level right out of the box. Okay, I'm going to show you an example of how this table plays, and then you can get a feel for it and see if you would like to have this table. So, we're going to just treat this like a regular pool table. So it's nice and tight. I want to show you something. Breaking is nearly impossible with these sticks they give you and with these balls. You'll see if I break it really hard, and I'm going to put my ball up here pretty good, I get a decent break. I got a couple of balls in there, but as you can see it's pretty congested and if you're wanting to play a game with somebody you really don't want to fool with this. So let's re-rack these and I'm going to show you how I modify this when I play. Now here's the mod. Whenever it's your turn to break, you just quite simply take the cue ball and come through like that. And now you're going to have a much better break. And you're going to have a complete glop of balls there. So let's go ahead and play this. Now I'm going to use the pull sticks that came with this. I'm just going to give myself a chance here. There's no reason to be difficult, but I'm showing you how these these play here. Yeah, this is it's not perfect, but you can still get the the balls to go in. 
You can run balls down a rail. Now one thing that is difficult will be bank shots, but I'm just going to run this all the way down. Whoops, came off. But I'll show you a bank shot that normally I at least have a chance of making. And I came close. But the rails are not perfect. You, know, you have to really hit it pretty hard. But, as you can see, you can definitely play on this table. I mean, it's, it, it's a fun little table to play on. It's not as good as the Fairmont, which I will review. Link in the description to the Fairmont. That's definitely our favorite. In fact, this one I'm going to be selling. And once you see this video, it's, it's already sold. It won't even be here. So, and we got this one. We started with this. We liked it, but then we wanted to upgrade. Now, if you really want to upgrade, you want to get a regular size stick. Because with this regular size stick, now you can make shots a lot easier. And there's a lot of green to that, but I mean, I don't know if you could notice, but the power that I was able to hit that with was much easier. I mean, you can hit the balls in with pretty much, you know, high, per, high percentage chance here. Let's try a little combo. I uh, missed it. But as you can see with a regular stick it takes this game to a whole new level. I'm going to try to put some low English on this. Ah, not low enough. This makes the game a lot more fun. So, first thing I would suggest if you get this table is just to get a couple of regular sticks. Because that's going to make this game so much more fun. Now, I just want to say that I'm certainly no pool shark. And on a regular table, I would not do a whole lot better than what you see me do here. So, don't think that, you know, this table isn't quality in that regard. So, if you use a regular size pool stick, you can make this table work. It's just, uh, you know, it's not as good as a full-size table. I mean, let's just be honest here. This is not as good as a full-size table. I would hope you'd know that. But anyways, I just wanted to show it to you, do a quick review on it, let you see some shots. Again, the unboxing video is in the description. Make sure you like, subscribe, and you can check me out at bradctv.com.